Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm the witchy sister and I got an unboxing for you today and it is Wolf of Time's Lunalux box. Lots of fragile um, handle with care and she did put a new sticker on here this month. Um, that's really cute. I think it is adorable sticker. I love it. It's got the wolf. It's got her logo. And it has some really pretty flowers on the bottom there. There you go. But let's dive in and see what's in this box. Um, this month was Ancient, Ancient Botany. And she did partner with um, Apothecary at Home. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I uh, have gotten some apothecary at home boxes before and um so i'm really excited to see what they both came up with this one and we have this cute brown <laughs> tissue paper with a really cute leaf on it and Right away, this box smells amazing, so I'm excited to know what's in here. Because something in here smells really good. If I had to guess, it would be the incense. We have the Wolfen Time um, business card here. And it looks like the paperwork is on top. And there's no little uh, paragraph about the box this month on here. It goes straight into what the items are. So I'm going to set this aside. And like I said, Apothecary at Home. This is their business card. Oh my gosh. I, I need to know what is in here. That smells so good. Um, become a True Green Witch. <clears throat> And we have some of these cute little apothecary at home labels for the jars. And a marjoram. Sues and comforts. Oracle card. This is really pretty. I like how it's got the water drop here, this real pretty, um, like, botanical background. Let's see what it says about the card. Um, essential oils healing card. Essential oils comes from the magical powers of plants and are a worldwide practice in hom ho holistic, <laughs> holistic and spiritual healing. This 52 card deck gives you the um, illustration, plant name, Latin name, healing properties, and symbols on how you can use it. Diffuser, typical, uh, topical, internal, and cooking. You are were given an intuitive chosen card which represents the plant you need at this moment and meditate upon its meaning. Very cool. So soothes and comforts and spot on. I need this card. So thank you. Um, then we have a ancient botany ink recipe card. That's cool. I might have to do this in a video. Crystal Botany plants cleanse, um, recharge, and absorb energy from corresponding crystals when you put the right rock with the plant that has the same vibration. The plant will thrive and have the magical properties of the partnered stone. And this is true. Um, I had received a tree agate in one of my previous boxes. And I put it in with um, my lily who was down to, my peace lily was down to one leaf. 
and it was having a hard time. I tried everything I could to bring this thing back from the dead. And as soon as I put that stone in, she's thriving now and she has bloomed. So, um, yeah, sorry. My little story. Um, featured herb red clover. And there is... Oh, just a little kind of like greeting card from the creator of um, the Apothecary at Home box. I am getting the Apothecary at Home box for next month, so I'm excited about that. Herbal infused oil and a recipe for herbal salve. Very cool. I like these cards that she um, put those on. Oh, and here is the cute little raccoon painting that Kat did. And um, I did comment on her Facebook or Instagram. I don't remember which. I, I know I commented on her video on both, but she was saying that this raccoon was inspired by one that she had rescued. And I thought that was so cute. His eyes are just so sweet. His face just looks so kind. Her little wax seal here, these beautiful, beautiful flowers in the painting, and um, some dried flowers. I will link the, um, I will put the link down below for this painting on her um, YouTube channel. And it's just very soothing and relaxing to watch her paint. Ooh, is this what smells so good? Oh, yep, this is it. We have our incense stick. Oh, I didn't read anything about this cute little raccoon. I tend to do that. Uh, let's see. Artwork. Um, Shaman Ritual Painting by Cat Grady. Raccoon Eyes shows us how we see the world can change our view of from negativity to a field of flowers and new beginnings as the raccoon sometimes can sometimes be seen as an intruder this young animal is delight delighting in coming the spring flowers and showing a soft a soft soul raccoon as a shaman animal helps you see your way out of difficulty it helps you learn how to use your sense of touch for healing, gives you the art of in <laughs> ingenuity, uh, reveals what has been hidden from you and lets you release what you have been truly feeling. It supports the solar plexus chakra and helps you ground with the element of earth. It's beautiful. Okay. I'll try to get better about all this stuff. Um, I get really excited about what's in the box and then I forget to read the stuff. The incense. Just looking to see if there's anything about the incense. I don't, I don't see anything. gonna move on and then we have the ancient botany ritual salts jasmine violet orange lemon and sandalwood Ancient Botany Herbal Bath Salts. To relax, give yourself care, and cleanse, your, cleanse you before ritual, herbal baths are a perfect sacred practice. Herbs not only help detoxify, soothe, and ease physical pain, but have ar aromatic therapy that calms the mind and soul. We have participated, oh, I'm sorry, we have partnered with the ladies at sacred space 
who have made you a special mix from their apothecary of orange peel, violet, and jasmine. If you do not take baths, you can use them as a shower, salt scrub, a foot soak, a ritual salt, as ritual salts for cleansing or in your magical working. Orange has the power of love, divination, luck, and money. Violets give you protection, lust, wishes, peace and healing and jasmine gives you prophetic um prophetic dreams all right so that is the basil i'm excited about those because i love my basils hmm. what do i grab now let's go with the red clover i need this actually for um a um incense I'm going to make for Ostara so watch for that video and then um, there was I'll, I'll go back to it because I missed something about um, I missed something about the, uh, anyways, I missed something, so I'll go back to it. All right, what is this right here? This little thing is, there's a lot of stuff in this box, you guys. It was really heavy. So here is a tea light. I'm assuming for a ritual. And here are some wax. What is this? Wax melts. This package is so cute. I love the color scheme. The the very um, neutral colors, like the tans and the white. Oh, these are cute. Okay, so here's the wax melts. Petals of Danger Wax Molds. We have included some herbal scented wax molds as well to get you started <clears throat> with your aroma lamp. Oh, so there must be a lamp in here. They are petals of nature scented with a clean herbal fragrance and a hint of floral notes. With colors that swirl around as, the, as it melts and each one will give you hours of aromatherapy. As we explore the craft of ancient botany, we will be using all of our senses to create a complete awareness to how you can use plants. Very cool. All right, so let's put this aside. And let's go with this. What is this? This looks like a bottle. Come out. This is very pretty. So this is probably for a tincture or um, to do some oils with. Um, my guess is more of a tincture, but I'm sure we'll find out. <clears throat> then we have, let's see, what's this big bag? Oh, it sounds like, okay, so this is the 10 for our salve, the glass jar for our oil to infuse our herbs with, and some more apothecary labels, and I think this is the beeswax. I ripped the bag. Of course I did. Out, but yeah, it is the beeswax bar, and it smells like honey. All right, set those aside. Oops, hmm. okay. Put 
this over here. And let's go ahead and open this box. Oh, this is the oil lamp. Okay. I buried my half of me over here. I need to sharpen it. Okay. So I have, let's see. Oh, this is pretty. Looks like soapstone with a light top. So this is the oil burner that I received. It's, <laughs> it's really pretty. I like the little lattice looking work here. So pretty. They're two different colors, which is kind of cool. I like that. All right, set that over there. Oh, that tea light is for that. Oh, and here's another in incense stick. And then we have this. Let's open this. I try to read everything that Kat puts in here because I know that she has to take time and everything to um, write. This is cute. It's like a little glass. Shot glass? But I don't know because this looks like a pin holder. So let's see. I thought this was a uh, like a beeswax candle, but I think it is. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Okay, another glass. Well, not another one, but another one for me. This is a glass pen, and it has like a light green, really pretty glitter inside of it. This is so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so we have the glass pen, and there was an ink um, recipe, so this is probably to write with your ink that you make. I won't say anything about the glass pen. Okay, glass dip pen and inkwell holder, ancient botany herbal ink recipe for the. For your botanical recordings of plants, a special pen creates a unique energy of ritual practice and importance. So we can include a green tinted, I was right, it is like a green tinted, dip pen with a ribboned handle and a sparkly core. It comes with a glass inkwell and molded glass stand for it to set upon. There is also an ink recipe created by Time and Wolf, or Wolf and Time, that is made with herbal ingredients that you can use in your magical crafting. Most of the supplies you can purchase at the grocery store and a craft and art store online, or online. Practice with your energy infused ink and feel how to write draw and create your own create your create with your new tool when finished simply clean and clean it oh my gosh clean it gently with warm soapy water sharpen it using a fine grain sandpaper or file so like a nail file would probably work too this is so cool oh my gosh thank you cat alrighty let's see what else in this bag. I like this bag. I love this color. I'm sorry for the, the I think it's an ambulance going by. Oh, oh, pieces are falling out. Hold on. Oh my goodness. This is, wow, what is this? This is really pretty. 
It's like a honey brown color. Oh, sounds like they're getting close. I'm really sorry about that. I can't do anything about that. But let's see what this is. A premium... Hold on. Okay, never mind. A premium raw amber calcite. Element, fire and wind, chakra root, solar plexus, and third eye. Focus, clarity, insight, actions, confidence, and intel intellectual, intellectual power. Raw amber calcite, also known as honey calcite, is a calcium carbonate mil mineral with a rhombial crystal system. I know I didn't say that right, sorry. It is found in Mexico and comes in very pale to deep dark brown with a degree of transparency. It supports strength, stamina, helping you conserve physical energy, aid in helping you through emotional difficulties and with stability, and inspire you with perseverance in your spiritual path. To fulfill your commitments, it stimulates your intellect, which can help you absorb the information of ancient botany while keeping you calm without stress. Thank you. I needed this. Um, there's just some things going on lately and the stuff. Oh no. As you can see, it's um, very delicate. So if you get this box, be very careful. I just put all the little pieces in here because every little piece counts. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. And I think that's it. Oh no, there's one last thing in here. <clears throat> oh my gosh, this book is so cute. Oh, it's got, dude, it's so like vintage looking. How cute is this? It says journal. Take a walk in the woods and record your reflections and observations in this portable journal. Include nature identification illustrations as well as lists of nat national parks, hiking trails, botanical gardens, and bird sites to visit across the country. This journal will keep you inspired and prepare you prepare for all your outdoor adventures. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Thank you so much. <gasps> Look at all the little animal prints. How cute. Oh my gosh, I'm going to geek out for a minute, you guys. Like, nature is my jam. Oh, cool. Oh, look, common deciduous trees, very cool. Common, car common carnivorous trees. And plant identification. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the, tr they can even put tracks in here. This is so perfect. Oh. Cloud identification. All right, little note pages here. Let's see. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. And it almost feels like those field um, guide notebooks that you get where, I don't know, where you know you write and the ink doesn't, um, it doesn't matter if the paper is wet or not, like you can still write on it. But this is so cool. And look, it has like all these national parks that you can go to. I'm going to have to look up ones in my area. So cool. There's definitely a lot in here that is on my bucket list. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. So excited. This box is amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay. I was expecting it to be good, but this was really good for me. Any, I mean... If you like plants and you're into this kind of stuff, I mean, come on, you guys. All right. So there is the salve and oil infusing making kit. There's the crystal. Oh, 
try to move all this stuff in frame. I'm sorry. And then we have the wax melts. And we have the tea light candle. The bath salts. Taking our little bathing ritual. The beautiful glass pen. The little ink well. I don't have one of these, so this was so cool to get. Oh my gosh. And the pen holder. One incense stick there. The beautiful. Oh, here's the other one. I was like, I know the other one's here somewhere. It's hiding in the fur here. Um, and the artwork. And then, you guys, the Oracle card deck, the um, herbal recipe for infusing your oils this and I didn't read about the ancient botany um, the crystal botany I should read that uh, so really quickly oh my gosh and then we have the red clover which I needed so thank you thank you thank you thank you all right so I'm gonna read about the crystal botany real quick Crystal Botany is a newer concept of combining crystal energy with the vibration of plants. This is an ancient practice for many cultures, but the idea of it has not been well known until recently. Your original um, 5x7 Grimoire page goes over the ideas of Crystal Botany and its purpose, as well as several pairing of common, more common crystals, houseplants, and garden varieties. Each one is paired based on plants, meaning, and the supporting of healing properties of the stone. Try some pairing of your own and creating higher vibrations in your sacred space while burning your Ostara flower included incense this made by essential oils, resins, and fragrance. The Nature Walk Journal. Um, as you go on your hikes or nature walks to find new botany specimens, it is very helpful to have a designated journal to record your findings. This little handbook or hardback book has both space for writing and drawing, as well as interactive tips, information, and field guidance. It has seasonal trail suggestions, lined paper, graph, graphing ideas, and more. Take it along with you on your adventure and connect with the magic of nature's plants, animals, seeds, mushrooms, and vegetation in your area. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what did you guys think? Oh, I forgot. I forgot a piece. The incense burner. Ah! Oh, don't break my pen. Okay. Freak out moment. What did you guys think of this box? I thought this box was amazing. Um, but then again, I love all things plant-based. I love plants and I love crystals and I love the, all of this. Um, I know I was kind of all over the place tonight. I'm sorry. It's really late here. I'm tired and um, it's just been one of those days. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What was your favorite item? My favorite item, if I had to guess, oh man, I love everything here, but if I had to pick something, it's a tie between this journal and this crystal one, because I've never even seen this crystal and I think it's gorgeous and beautiful. And then the book, of course, because I'm always out in nature. Um, Especially in the summer and in the fall, it's like every weekend we are camping and we are out in nature. So, um, thank you guys for joining me. And if you're new here, welcome. Usually I'm not all over the place like this. At least I don't think I am. But, um, think about liking and subscribing. And even a thumbs up just helps my channel. So, 
Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this box and my current subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so blessed. I never thought my channel would have as many of you guys as it does. So thank you. And until next time, blessed be.